Hello, this is Jay Rosen coming back to you for one last time from our project here in Short Hills, New Jersey. If you recall, we dug out a crawl space by hand underneath a family room and living room to create a wine cellar and a tasting room. You've seen the progress along the way from the digging, the underpinning, the framing, the insulation, and you haven't seen the finished product. And I'm here today to bring that to you. If you remember from our first shot, this was originally a small window with ductwork running through it, which serviced the rooms above. We broke the block out and created this doorway, which leads into the space that we've created. This is a door that we made for our client. It's an insulated glass door with lower panel and upper arched windows, as you can see, arched glass. Anyway, let's walk into the space. In order to get enough ceiling height, we dug the new space lower than the initial basement space. As you can see, there is a step going into the space. We made two steps out of it because the height difference was too great to accommodate a single spe spe step. Here, we're in the tasting room. What we've done is created raised panel walls out of mahogany that we have spray finished. As I take you around the room, you can see both upper and lower panels. The doorway leading into the space. We created a closet in the corner. and then the wine cellar itself. The entrance door to the wine cellar is a single full light glass door, insulated glass, flanked by large windows, 60 inches tall and approximately 34 inches wide on each side of the door. Let's go into the space so you can see what we've created. Now, the cellar, the inspiration of this cellar came out of a book that had stone and brick, ceilings, pilasters, etc. We weren't able to create the barrel ceiling which was in the book due to the height restrictions. If we had gone any lower, we would have had to underpin the entire house as this wall here was the actual back wall of the home. So we could not get any deeper than we could, than we were able to. Hence, there's a flat ceiling in the wine cellar. But, if you walk in, hopefully you can see, we've created pilasters of brick that go from floor up to the ceiling, across the ceiling, and then down the other side. In between the brick pilasters, We've applied stone in three sections and inside the diamond bins on the back wall we've also applied stone. So it gives it a real cave-like feel. We've mounted sconces on the brick columns, if you will, to create an aesthetic as well of a certain as well as a certain feel to the space. In the middle of the room, we created a waterfall rack where you can display those finer bottles in your collection as well as a large tasting counter that can accommodate wine bottles, cigar boxes, a drawer in front, and then storage for larger bottles. The racks themselves are all made out of mahogany. There's room for case storage at the bottom, some double depth flat racks, 
an angled display route, and then double depth racking above. This increased the capacity of the space over what would have been provided had we only used a single deep racking on both of the side walls. If you'll notice, there's a continuous display row around the perimeter of the entire room with hidden rope lighting, hidden display lighting for magnum sized bottles as well as for champagne in the back. The cooling unit is hidden behind the mahogany diffuser that we build and we have applied crown molding also around the perimeter of the room below the stone and above the racks. As we look back into the room from the back of the cellar one can see the tasting room and there was a shot that I had provided you in our initial video from this spot where I'm standing now which showed the dirt and the ductwork that was running through the ceiling of the space it certainly changed a little bit from that point in time anyway thank you very much for joining us I hope you enjoyed our journey to this point it's turned into a beautiful space from what was just dirt and a rat slab so happy new year to all and should you know anybody who's looking to create the perfect space for a wine cellar and tasting room give us a call thanks again for joining us and raise a glass to your health. Bye now.